Hello, everybody, and hey, welcome to Metal Slug. I'm Robin the Interjack without the Sea, and I think I've played this particular arcade game more than Slug. just about any other in existence. And that's saying something. This is the very first one from 1996, which, hey, a lot later than I thought it released, but also it makes a lot of sense given everything it goes for. So, hopefully everybody's doing well. Let's go ahead and just jump right on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. All those slugs made of metal. And yet salt will still ruin it. Har 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 har. Anyway. Oh. So we've already played a game very similar to this called Demon Front, which is an IGS Chinese developed thing. Very Metal Slug like, but with a lot more supernatural elements. So this is where the OG comes from. It's great. Well, it's where the inspiration was. It, it is what the inspiration was. I'm going to get good at words one of these days. It ain't going to be today. Anyway, let's uh, let's explode some more things. This game is like <laughs> SNK kind of quickly became masters of pixel pushing. And a metal slug is kind of like my example of like, oh god, all the details are so much. Um, they add in so much. Hi, Ayla. That it's actually kind of astounding that this game even exists to a certain extent. Ooh, thank you for the redemption. Oh god. There we go. Visually, this game is a big inspiration for me, just for how crunchy everything is. What few times I've really tried to tackle, like, mechanical things. It's because of Mel's Bug that I draw it, or Akira Toriyama. Honestly, Akira Toriyama could totally design a Mel's Bug comic, and it would probably be pretty good. So we're going to go nuts here. There we go. Oh, hell yeah. We're doing good. Yeah. All right. No hits yet. How y'all doing? Hopefully well. I myself am taking my time. There we go. In life and all things. I had to schedule a whole bunch of appointments for various things. I think I scheduled like three different things today. And I have to schedule a fourth soon. Mission complete. And it's a lot. Nelsog X Toriyama, yeah. It would be dope. Just have him do the design for, well, maybe not Metal Slug specifically, but you know, something Metal Slug like. Like Sandland. Coming soon, the console is near everyone. Yeah, I've got some medical stuff I'm finally, like, making happen. Uh, still stuff that's, like, difficult to talk about. And I don't know if it's going to be a thing that I get super into on stream. Even on, like, my private socials, I've been kind of avoiding talking about it, because it's a lot. One must imagine Sisyphus. Totally Jack. Just fucking rip, bro. Like, the games are unreal. <laughs> I mean, hey. Okay, can I get down there from here? Not this way, anyway. I want the turkey. Thank you. Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. There we go. Yeah. This game's audio just happens so damn much. And Kadoosh. 
can now. We're not. You're not. You're not doing that. We're, we're just going to release you. Medical stuff is also but good to take care of. But wow, the process of doing so. Yeah, I've got a good medical team, thankfully. A lot of people who know what they're doing, who are very are incredibly ready to. Oh no. Oh no. Are incredibly ready to do whatever it takes to get things scheduled out of the way with no worries. So, you know, we got that going. Ah, yeah, screw that. We're just gonna... We're just gonna explode everything. There we go. Don't you do that. Oop. Hell yeah. Wah. There we go. Come on, get out. Oh. So yeah, it's a lot. It's it's more than I have really been able to deal with to a certain extent, but it'll be dealt with. Metal Slug Team's restaurant. Ooh. Everything is just extra chunky. Goodbye. Also, shout out to the music for the for these games. They're just they have such a great audio vibe that is unreal. Served on a tank on tracks. <laughs> Putting new meaning to conveyor belt sushi. Oh god. There we go. This game just happened so damn much. God, and, and sometimes you just look at the animation of the tank and just go, they are adding in so much assumption of form that is completely unreal. The insinuation of form, which mostly means they make it feel like this thing is constantly turning and moving and jostling and the plates are rattling. It's too good, is the problem. Come on, can we do this in one go? Oh, and there's a big bad. We'll be seeing a lot of him throughout these games. Yay! A metal slug burger. What would that even be? It's like 15 patties. With a two pit with with a sturdy th toothpick down the middle. That's just a, a slew of onion rings along the along it to represent the cannon. All set on top of like just some wheels. The aforementioned tank on tracks. <laughs> I love the little animation of the hostage, just like for the POW, just like waving. Like, hey! How you doing, man? Well, let me out. You can't look at the little tanklet without coveting the toy some company made of the Mel Slug that turned into a robot. Oh no, I want that. That would be a dope little mech. That'd be great. Oh. Come on. There we go. Okay, I didn't even mean to shoot that guy. He just got in the way. He just got in the way. Okay, this one's kind of interesting. We have to, like, keep this. Whoa, no. Come on, let's do this. Go, 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 go. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Ah, thanks. There we go. No, don't touch me. Don't like to be touched. 
Let's go. It's time for Arnold. Come on, boy. Oh, no, not doing that. Come on. Ouch. Gosh. Come on, boy. Come on, I do appreciate boy. his whole vibe, but... Come on, come on. I know you're getting mad. I can tell. Hell yeah. Come on, we don't need this. There you go. There's not even much to say about this game other than, damn, look at this. It's, it's one of those games that just has like a very specific game feel that's hard to describe. And like, like before with Demon Front, it's it's kind of immaculate. It has like a nice weighty feel to it, where you can't move too fast. A fan art you made in Warm Gray Marcus was Metal Slug, right? Oh yeah, I made my own little Mex Metal Slug Sona and everything. I still have that drawing somewhere. Ooh, I need to put that on the list. There we go. Yes. Go, 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 go. No. That was so easy to avoid. And I just didn't. There we go. Yeah, I think um, user Jet Gregoire, um was doing like a Metal Slug Sona thing for a bit. That was a lot of fun. And I took that opportunity to like do some big damn fan art because I'm a huge fan of old Metal Slug. They're doing, they're doing pretty good. They still stream every once in a while. And, um, like, still posting art. They're over on Blue Sky, in addition to a few other places. Still on Tumblr. Great, like, really fun artist. Fun streamer. Like, just, just good time. Oh, no. There we go. Come on. Go away. Yay. Okay, I need you to go away. I need you to die. Come on. We don't need this. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. Just... Just a huge wreckage. A trail of blood in my pay. For what reason? Who knows? The story is not relevant here. Especially as we get into the later games where, uh, narrative kind of takes off. Or at the very least, the stuff you get to do takes off. Oh no! I just got that rocket launcher. Let's go nuts with this. Oh! Dang. Okay, fine. There we go. Yeah! This is working. This is okay. Damn it. I say, immediately dying. Get back here. Need to help. That's not help. That's not help at all. There we go. Okay, he's exploded now. We can move on with our lives. Excellent. Cannot find Twitch on Twitch. It was on there for a time. But it was like a, a viewer only thing. And you would have to use your phone to do it. But we should also get you set up with like 
a good media console or device in your room anyway. So I think this is just a need that we can possibly satisfy pretty easily, in fact. Give me the monkey! Give me the monkey. Oh my god. That was my own bad. I did that to me. Yep. Aw. I don't think I can go back either. This is very much a, like, once you, once you move right, you can't go left no more kind of game. Wanted to play a tactile light on my iPad. It's the only place I can reliably watch your stream. Damn. Well, I appreciate the effort, but if you just want to play Attack the Light, you can just play Attack the Light. Good game. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, right. Here comes my favorite animation. So much work goes into that. Jesus Christ. Dang it. I just let that fall on me. What is wrong with me? Ugh. This game is a lot. And of course I went with the default difficulty. Of course I did. Even though I know that this game is... Oh, falls hard. You just die a lot, just a thing. Dang it. I don't know if anyone's playing anything new. I've been playing, um... I've been playing a little bit of Persona 5 Tactica. I got it for one of our roommates, and it looked fun. It seemed, like, now that I've kind of seen a little bit of what it's got, it's a little bit more XCOM than, like, this guy or Final Fantasy Tactics. It's got a lot of positional strategy going on, and cover mechanics, and all that good stuff. And the visual style is just kind of dope. Not gonna lie. There we go. Oh my god. I just want to help the guy. There we go. Oh. There we go, yeah. Oh, I love a shotgun. You know? I love a fictional shotgun that I don't actually have to wield in real life. Doesn't get much better. Whoa. No, I don't like that. I don't like what this is doing. I don't like this twofer. No, don't get close to me. Hi, cat. How you doing? I sacrificed my life just so I could throw enough grenades at him. Don't stand. Don't stand so. Don't stand so close to tanks. Trying to remember the Donnie Yen movie in which a metal slug with a plot point? What? I'm into that. Oh yeah, this stage was actually like the inspiration for like that, that art piece I did that we were talking about earlier. That's fun. Kitty. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, jeez. No! Don't hit me! You son of a bitch! I was not here to be hit! I was here to shoot! I want to do all the hitting! Damn it. 
It's all good. Anyway, as I've mentioned on Blue Sky, on the social, um, I'm going to be playing pretty much every Mel Slug up to six for stream, but don't worry. Yeah, these are perfectly fine copies, and I already own like a few versions of these well before the whole buyout of SNK. Because, like, the visuals here, like, look at that. Look at the crunching of those cards. That is some artistry that cannot be ignored. Hey, ma'am. Oh, God. Don't squeeze your cat. You can't do that. That's me. Come on. Let me up. No! Dude, this is why I go into the dip switches and, like, change all the settings so that we have 99 lives. <laughs> it's just more fun that way. Let me up. There we go. Dang. That spread is so nasty. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! And boom. Yes! Oh, there we go. Oh, this is going to be a little bit easier, thankfully. If I don't completely beef it. Come on, go down. Yeah! Kadoosh! I do love that your tank can also be a weapon in and of itself. Like, that's just nice. Dang it. They just throw so much at you. It's not great. I don't love it. I don't love how much they throw. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, base. Was that a Wilhelm scream just then? I. It might be. But, like, the screams in this game are just so iconic, weirdly enough. There's no telling. Maybe they just, like managed to make a really good scream in and of itself. Ah. Come on, go down, go down, go down. Yeah! Alright. This is one of the few bosses that I've been able to do without getting hit. But it's not easy. Yeah. Nothing remains. A really neat thing about the POWs in this game is that they all have names. You only get to have credit for them if you survive. So for every life you lose, that's another that, that's another set of prisoners that just disappear from record. It's always been a weird mechanic, I get it, but god, to one CC this like these games. If there's anything if there's any like weird, completely ridiculous gaming goal that I would ever try to go for, it's that. Just be able to say, oh, yeah, here's every single POW. There we go. Because you only get to see the name if you survive. Thank you. Oh god. No, don't do that, Al. Dang it. There we go. You. You son of a bitch. 
You son of a bitch tank. There you go. Goodbye. Oh god. Uh, I was actually having a lot of trouble figuring out what game to play today. And I started thinking more about, like, you know, stuff that isn't arcade games and all of that. And then I realized, like, I don't know when I'm going to get to Metal Slug. I don't know what would be the best time. But considering we are not going to be playing a game that is, like, over-the-top violent for, you know, at least a couple of streams, I figure, why not have some ultra-violence? Why not enjoy just a ton of wanton explosion? Okay, I think I can perform better if I can actually hear myself. I want to turn down my headphones just a little bit. <laughs> no! Oh, this is actually one of the faves. I don't have violence, why not make it ultra? Exactly! Go ham! Heavy machine gun. There we go, yeah! Yeah, I wonder why this is one of my favorite bits. Ow! That's fine. That's fine. You know what? That's fine. Oh. Oh, yeah. I think this is the first time I've been able to say it. I finally watched that H-Bomber Guy special, the, the four-hour video on James Somerton. And, like, my big takeaway of that, because the video is more about how plagiarism happens, why plagiarism happens, that sort of thing, right? Um, which is valuable. It's not really about James Somerton so much as it is just... In what way does plagiarism actually happen? And one thing I kind of noticed, and this is something that, like, his videos have done a couple of times, and other people's videos have done a couple of times, where, you know, we, we see people just kind of lying through their teeth. We see people just copy-pasting and very, like, Doing as little work as possible to make it their own, right? Thank you. There's people like trying to make money off of this sort of thing. And I just kind of, I guess, one of the things I noticed is that I realized how little I understood of plagiarism, you know? For some reason, I thought more work went into it, but it really is sometimes just changing a word or two. And it's like, that's it? That's all you want to do is just, like, slightly rephrase things? You could be an editor and get paid. If all you want to do is just, like, reword things and make it your own, just be an editor. People use plagiarism to how and why it's culture that encourages it, and the people hurt as a result. Yeah, and I mean, ultimately, it's about people who want to make money by any um, means necessary. Editors don't have fandom. They, they don't have that same kind of social clout. Because I think that's the other thing about that sort of plagiarism, because we've seen people go on about this sort of thing in H Bomber Guys videos, where it's not just being known as the person who did all this. It's being respected and having people at your beck and call. It's the, it's the ability to just get everything you want and have people defend you against every single possible allegation. Do it again with your name on it is a pretty good way to get money or even gain social capital because that rush is apparently quite addictive. Yeah. I mean, content mills are a thing. Like, there are a ton of, like, I'm on TikTok much more than I should be. And, like, more than half of the videos I can see, and that's not really an exaggeration, 
maybe about half. I, I could go a little less than half if you want to be generous. Um, are content mills of cat videos. Or they are videos of an AI explanation of a movie. Or, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that was covered in that video. And a big part of me is just like, that's really all it is, isn't it? It's just taking something somebody else wrote and slapping your name on it. That's really frustrating. As somebody who, like, I'm somebody who works really hard to make the things feel like things I want to make. And regardless of quality, because this isn't really an issue of quality, the process is really enjoying, uh, really enjoyable to me. Figuring out how something works, figuring out how to understand something, is a big deal. The AI voice describing a movie being a thing is just boggling me. Oh yeah, there's a lot of that. No! Oh damn, I almost have to avoid that. Not that I've avoided freaking anything, but... Yeah, plagiarism. It's, uh... If you are somebody with imposter syndrome, somebody who feels like you just don't have it in you to make something good, look at your plagiarists and tell me again that you can't put in the work. Oh, you just gotta explode them, Rock. It's one of those things that makes you feel really good about your own work because, my god, at least you put in more effort than that. Which, I think, here's another thing that I'm just going to add to that conversation. It's the only thing that I feel like is credible to add to all of that. If you're somebody who wants to make money off of your work, don't undersell yourself because there will be people who will cut you out of the product entirely. So you may as well get your bag. There are people who feel perfectly fine raking in tens of thousands of dollars every month off of somebody else's content. So why not you? That could be you. Anyway, we need Metal Slug one. <laughs> it's a short one, but honestly, it's kind of the perfect shoot 'em up arcade game. It just, it just goes full-time killer, and it wasn't Donnie Yen, it was Andy Lau. Ah, I did some goofy fan doodles for the first time in actual years, and I feel they have more artistic integrity than AI-generated junk. Yeah, um, and like, oh, right, this is one of my favorite ending credit sequences. You just get to see the battlefield. The aftermath, if you will. It's weirdly bittersweet, but also, like, just fantastic. Yeah, um, that's also kind of the problem with AI work in general, is that it's not really for anything but to be recognized. The Game Awards! Heck, the Game Awards is Robin and the Jack Clock! That's right. I am electing not to watch the Game Awards. I just don't like award ceremonies anymore, and Game Awards have never really been all that much for me. So, for those of you who are coming anyway, hey, welcome, hi! You don't have to be here. And you choose to be, and I appreciate that. It's been commercial. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Not even watching it, but I'm banning bots to the peer in the other two streams that are watching it. <laughs> oh god. I don't my sister's watching a stream of it, and yeah, it doesn't seem like a whole lot. Like there might be some announcements. And I'm always looking forward to announcements. But, like, man, I don't know that I've ever walked away from an award ceremony and felt like, you know what, that was worth my time. Has a new title coming out 2025. Ooh, House House, hell yeah. Awards are silly. Hang out with Robin, choice. <laughs> hell yeah. <gasps> Hiya, Jim. Yeah, the, the fake names here are really good. Aw. God, I still, like, catch a new detail every time I watch this. B 
Bean. <laughs> Metal Slug does indeed own. And that's the shortest one we've played so far. As I mentioned, we'll be playing through 2, X, 3, and all the way up to 6. We won't be playing 7 anytime soon, because that one's a long one. Um, but, uh, yeah. We've been fascinating ads at the award. Ooh. I should probably look into some of it, but I think for now... Pretty good. I think, I think I'm fine going without. Peace forever until Metal Slug 2. <laughs> Great. Um... So yeah, that was Metal Slug. It's one of my favorite shoot 'em up. It's um the mechanics are so finely tuned that even the worst Metal Slugs are a lot of fun. At their worst, um they just get a little long and draggy. But honestly, you can't go wrong with any of them. If you happen to have a copy of like Metal Slug Anthology from PS2, or have like a digital download, or just have some uh, access to old copies. Please, play you a Metal Slug. Enjoy it. But for now, for those of you who are live, hey, we'll be back with Smile For Me, which is going to be a blind playthrough. I know nothing about it, other than what they said on the store page and some things that people talked about. And also, there's like teeth stuff. <laughs> anyway, for those of you just hanging out with the VODs or just wanted to see the arcade game, thank you very much for watching. I've been Robin Aaron Jack without a C. And uh, yeah. Have some fun out there. Bye.